Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back, it's Jordan here. Today I'm going to continue working on the new train station which is built into the LEGO City raised platform. So far so good, we've got the bottom constructed there with the stairs, the elevator, and the Daily Bugle newsstand. And then I've got the top going here as well, starting to tile it off, got all the arches built in there, the back wall, both side walls, and also the arches out front as well. So yeah, still a lot of work to do. Got to add all the details and also finish off the tiling. All done. The details have all been added. Got a double-sided electronic ticket stand right here. So it's where you can purchase your tickets or reload your transit card. There you go. That's what we're going with. It's got tap technology. I found that uh, sticker, sorry, print piece on the pad wall the other day. And I added this sticker element uh, with some maps. I guess this train is going to Paris and... Berlin. Those came in the uh, extras packs and really handy stickers added some nice detail. You'll notice one other in the shot as well. Pretty awesome. Got the uh, nice benches back there in between the arches. There is a lot of open space here. I could probably add more benches, other details maybe, but I like this little concession stand right here. It's got a coffee machine or coffee pot there, a couple hot dogs, and then a banana, donut, some newspaper, some pizza, an apple sitting on the shelf there. Once again, another one of those little cash register pieces. And those are based on some brown inverted slopes. Garbage and recycle bin uh, just on the side of that. And there's a window also built into the wall there. And I like how the window is curved. Got a advertisement for a new Lego Star Wars Darth Vader movie or game coming out there. Pretty exciting stuff. Also another large sticker element here, which is 12 studs long. Lego life is full of stuff, and it's uh, mounted uh, in the staircase there as well. So Lego is advertising in the Lego train station. There's the uh, top of the elevator, all nicely tiled off there using the sand blue one by ones and the uh, light gray tile as well. And then there's a row of the uh, modified one by four plates with the uh, two studs there. So the interior details are looking pretty awesome. Just wanted to show you before I uh, cap it off. Decided to add some glow-in-the-dark lights both inside and outside to the arched covering. Got all of those components there from the road plate packs. Coming in handy. Pretty stoked that this uh, little train station here is going to have glow-in-the-dark features. Now we have to remember that this is going to go underneath the raised platform. So that's why I decided to position the map and also the ticket booth between the arches. So when you look like this, you can actually see some of the detail. With that said, I'm not a Lego light specialist, so when this is placed in the Lego City, it's going to become quite dark, like the staircase here. Like, you can barely see that newspaper stand unless you're me, of course. So, unfortunately, I'm not a Lego light specialist, and I will not be lighting this up. And when we do place it in the Lego City, it will be underneath the raised platform, so a lot of these details are going to be pretty hard to see just because it's going to be so dark. Still got a few more things we've got to do to the train station here. I need to decide whether or not I want to tile off those stairs or if I'm happy with leaving a few studs there. I honestly don't think it's the end of the world. Nothing wrong with a few studs in Lego. I also need to create some sort of barricade here because there's gonna be a waterfall that people can view. So it's gonna be fairly easy. Probably just build something uh, using some glass panels like I did up here. And then I also need to create a staircase because this train station is gonna serve as the raised platform. I didn't wanna build it inside because there's not enough clearance when it's placed underneath the raised platform. But I'm thinking I can build it like right here into this platform covering. So I'm going to be modifying this one next to try and accommodate a staircase. There's the glass window for viewing the waterfall, a smaller one but matching up here. I also added lights to the left and right side of the train station platform. And here's the staircase. So it's built right into this platform covering. The back wall will cover the platform. The stairs are a bit sketchy. They go up one brick at a time and they're only one stud wide, but I think it gets the job done and brings minifigures to the top of the platform, which is important. I had to uh, switch up the arches here. I used a smaller arch, so I replaced one of the larger ones just so there was space for the minifigs uh, to get through there. I had to make sure my stairs were four wide so they met code, and then I also switched up the mini arches on this side as well so there's enough space for the minifigures to pop through there. So pretty awesome. We got the... Uh, Details all added there. We're ready to like place this thing in the Lego City, which is pretty amazing. So that's what we're going to be doing next. That's pretty cool, hey? I love how it's like built into the platform. Like that is so cool. Now there is an issue. <laughs> uh, when I kneel, I can see the wood. 
And that's because I decided to use arches because I need minifigures to fit through those arches, right? I wanted to use the arches because they look good like that. I didn't want to create this large beam. So I'm thinking of solutions where I can keep the arches, but also cover up that wood because I don't want to see that wood when I kneel like this. And I don't want to see it from afar either. Looks really good like that though, hey? Looks fantastic. So what I could do is actually just move everything back and then I could create a beam behind the arches and that will actually give us more exposure up front here and reduce the shadowing a little bit. But then it's not going to look consistent with the other platform coverings and if I do make it look consistent it'll look weird because it's going to like pop out farther. I'd rather have my arches in line with the other arches. So I think I've got to create a large beam that's going to run across there and cover up that wood out of like masonry bricks. And that beam, unfortunately, has to go on this stud. I guess it's not the end of the world. I'll build this up and then build a beam all the way along. But then when you come down, rather than seeing wood there behind the arches, you're going to see a beam made of masonry bricks, which I think is a lot more attractive than exposed malamine. So that's what I'll do next. Oh, I just spotted another little whoopsie there. Okay, got to fix that up as well. Also, there's some missing slopes on this rock work. Easy peasy. So there's the beam. Luckily, it spans side to side, doesn't need any support because it's actually clipped into the uh, top covering and also on either side as well. You can see it when you come here, like from this perspective, but you can't see it from up here. And I'd rather look at that than expose Malamine. And minifigures still fit underneath it, so that's good. Now, originally, I was thinking, oh, maybe I should just make it a large beam and then I could just have that out front here. But that would look super lame compared to having these arches. The arches sort of make it look train station-like and just make it look way better than just some flat wall with a few masonry bricks in it. So I'm definitely glad that I decided to go with the uh, arches and the support pillars. However, if I went with just the beam, I could bring it forward. It could have these arches built into it, and then it wouldn't need the support columns. But once again, I think the arches sort of make it look really cool. Before we place it, here's a quick look at the before and after photos. So this is the original platform covering that had no train station. And here's the one with the train station. It's double the depth and of course has the train station. So it's significantly different than the original. And just for fun, here's the backside as well. So the original is just a solid wall. It's got the rock panels on the bottom and then a rectangular cutout for the train tunnel. And of course the new one is very different. It has lots of colorful bricks integrated into it. And the main highlight of course is the actual train station with all the added details. Oh man, I gotta say, that looks sweet when all of the platform coverings are placed together. Wow, that makes a huge difference. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy that I decided to build it into the platform because it saves us space and it's just cool. It's just like a different layer of the city that beam takes away from it. Oof, but it is what it is. You know, I really should put some lights in there. That would be super neat. And just seeing the arches... Like with depth, like the fact that there's, you know, like interior details inside there and just knowing that they're there is just something about it. It's really cool. I would love to do more things like this. What a great little mock. It's huge. It's 64 studs. It's two base plates. It's the size of, it's bigger than assembly square. I don't know. What's the, what's the size of it? I don't know. It's two base plates. It's massive. <laughs> and the fact that it's built into the platform and conserving room is pretty amazing as well. So it's not placed yet. I've got, well, it is placed, but I still have to make some changes to the surrounding area here to better accommodate it, specifically behind the farm here. So first things first, just had to replace some of the buildings and also fix up the track, just make sure the ground line was all connected and to make sure all of my platform coverings were actually secured together. And then it was time to move the farm forward. So I actually moved it forward an entire base plate. And then I had to just map out my trail. I want a trail leading from the uh, pavement or like the cement all the way to the creek and it's just going to be like a nature trail. So once I have my base layout for that constructed then it was time to bring those plates back over to my desk and start laying all of those quarter rounds, the one by one circular tiles and also some random one by one circular tan studs as well. And that actually matches the trail on top of the race platform so that's why I decided to go with that design. And then I wanted a nice clean sidewalk leading up to the actual train station entrance. So I decided to continue the same design found within the train station with the light gray 2x2 two two tiles and the 1x1 one one sand blue tiles. With those two plates placed, this area is coming together. So we extended 
that sidewalk out, but we still have to connect it to this curve here, which is mostly grass. I also have to fix up the farm, so we may as well take care of that as well. Just switch the uh, road so it uh, connects over here, and also just switch the direction of the pumpkin patch. Maybe it should get an upgrade, but I sort of want to leave it on its contained farm plate because the plates we were just working on are right there. And also I need to reconnect this trail here, or connect it, and also put a bridge going over top of that creek. So you may as well fix the farm today as well, just essentially reversing it so the road is on the other side and the pumpkin patches flip the other way as well. It was pretty quick and easy. Working in mills gives us that depth, so that road looks pretty fantastic. I've gone through and added a bunch of uh, extra detail to the surrounding area here, so that's looking pretty good. My train is sort of doing the wobble wobble right now, isn't it? That's because these uh, raised train tracks here have been through a lot. I've just got to go around and probably take them all off, put them on a flat surface, and just make sure that everything's connected because what's happened is I have two pieces of train track here and it's supported with the plate underneath and the tile on top. It's all overlapping. Just got to make sure that everything is pressed down nicely. That's why it's doing a little bit of a wobble wobble. Some people were commenting on that, how it looked pretty funny in the last video, and I agree. I just like the way it dances, you know? <laughs> there you go, look at it go. But yeah, I've got uh, all the added detail here, which looks pretty good. So I've connected the uh, sidewalk. And I did tile off the area by the farm here. And I changed up the gravel road on the actual road plate. Now I don't have any more 2x2 two two tiles, so I just put some 1x down for now. Same with uh, the sidewalk on this side here. But the pumpkin patch looking pretty good there. The custom gazebo in this nice creek area. And that trail goes right along the edge of the creek. So it's a nice nature walk through the trees and alongside the creek uh, toward the zoo there. I also created a custom bridge using two large uh, arch elements, some plate and some tiles. It's a pretty nice looking bridge there. Didn't have any brown slopes to create the handrail, so I used tan, and I actually think it adds a nice uh, color change there. So yeah, pretty cool looking uh, bridge. And then all sorts of trees everywhere. Now what's my plan for this area? It's not fully detailed yet, and I wouldn't consider it to be done. And I didn't want to go around and put all my plates and curved slopes and slopes and everything in here, because what I'm actually gonna do is put the farmer's market in here. So there's gonna be tables set up and little stalls everywhere, and people are gonna be selling their goods in this area here. Rather than building an actual farmer's market over here, like my original plan was, well, actually my original plan for the farmer's market was to put it way over there by the old fishing store, and I still might put a fish market over there, but then it changed to putting it over here, and now I think it's gonna look really good if it's on this little nature walk toward the zoo, sort of match the feeling of this. I also need to build a lot more trees. I'm sort of treed out. Built uh, 47 trees the other day for the campground and also for the raised platform. So yeah, I'm sort of treed out right now, but eventually I'll build some more trees and we'll fill this entire area and also this green strip along here with trees. Actually, you know what, this green strip, I haven't quite decided whether or not I wanna tile this whole thing so it connects over there. Oh, whoops. I didn't connect that road. My bad, I'll have to connect that road there. I also need to get either A, get more tiles or leave this as uh, grass here. And then I need to swap those tiles up as well. I just don't really see the point of me like robbing tiles from somewhere else to do more tile work and then order more tiles. I may as well just wait till I get more tiles. That's why I use my one by ones for now, uh, or my one by tile. You can see I did the uh, staircase here so it uh, blends in nicely with the platform. I got a minifigure making his journey up top there. And this area up here still needs to be landscaped as well. I need to decide whether I just want to put a bridge in here going toward the, air, or the airstrip, or if I want to continue this path here or trail all the way along so that it connects with the staircase from the uh, train station. But yeah, it looks pretty killer. I'm loving it. I, I just love this area. It's looking absolutely fantastic. And I, like how the nature is really connecting. We have a nice nature area here with the farm and the gazebo and the trail and the mountain and then the zoo and the campground. And all of that sort of connects with 
the raised platform now, especially when you consider the fact that you can literally get to the raised platform by walking up here and walking up there. Or you can take the train all the way around to the other train station, which is right over there. The train's passing through it right now as we speak. So it's pretty cool. Now one thing I need to think about is maybe I need to transfer or change this area here so that there's a train station for the ground line as well. This, this thing, I, I don't even want to start it up. It's so long. A train station for that mammoth of a train. But yeah, I might uh, integrate a train station for the ground line there as well. But either way, there is the uh, new and improved train station that's built into the raised platform, uh, finished and also placed in the LEGO City, looking pretty awesome. And I think it looks absolutely fantastic from afar as well. It just adds like a nice detail to the wall. And I love how you can see it from far away. It's just like, oh, I wonder what's going on over there. I want to go swoop underneath the table and have a closer look at those exposed arches. <laughs> oh, it looks fantastic. What else could we build into those uh, platform coverings? Now my mind is really thinking that I want to add some more stuff like that because that is super cool. Wow. But yeah, everybody, thank you so much for coming on by. Remember to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for some more great stuff, and have yourselves a great day. Farewell.